morning. I meant to wake up 30 minutes ago and slept through my alarm. So morning's gonna be a little more cramped than I planned, um, but I'm still gonna do my Peloton ride. Just, it's gonna be like 15, 20 minutes. Ooh, that was some vocal fry. 15, 20 minutes. <laughs> Remember when I told you guys about like the three, two, one countdown thing to make sure that you actually get out of bed? I didn't do that today. Otherwise, I probably would be just finishing up my Peloton ride and sitting on the couch with a cup of coffee. But instead I was like, oh, I'm just going to lay here for five minutes. Just five, five minutes. And then of course it's not five minutes, but that's okay. We're up now. Um, I'm gonna go get dressed, do a, a abbreviated Peloton ride, get ready, and then take Grace to her ballet class. And the last ballet class before they break for summer. So it's dress up day, they get to wear whatever they want. Grace is very excited. <laughs> Here we go. Hello, we are back home after a wonderful dance class. I'm sad it's over. It's been, we've been doing this since January. You want me to get the carrots for you? Hey, here's your carrots. You're gonna make me a carrot smoothie? Oh, you know mommy loves those. Um, but yeah, the class is over for the summer, both this class and the toddler class that we've been doing at the Nature Center. We started those both in January and they both take a three month break for the summer. So today was the last dance class and then yesterday was the last toddler class. They did a little end of year, like graduation ceremony at the end of the preschool class. They gave them little hats and diplomas. It was so cute. Oh, is my smoothie ready? Thank you so much. Hi, baby, mama. Oh, it's my birthday. You know, your birthday is in one week. Happy birthday, me. Yeah, we'll say happy birthday, you. Um, but yeah, those are done for the summer. So we are, uh, actually today, she has her second swim lesson, which one is one of the new activities we're gonna do for the summer. The cake. Oh, the cake. What flavor is it? Um, apple. What flavor? Apple. Oh, apple cake. Happy birthday me. Happy birthday you. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're we're looking at starting another class for the summer as well. For the past couple of months, I've really liked doing two once a week classes with Grace. So we've got swim. Uh, her second swim lesson is today. And then I picked up the recreation guide from our city today because that's where they list all of the classes and times and stuff. So I am gonna look through that during her nap and decide on which other class we wanna do. All right, I'm gonna enjoy my time with Grace. We're gonna play and uh, I'll probably check back in with you guys in a couple hours at nap time. Happy birthday to Bella. <laughs> All right, Grace is napping. It's one o'clock. I just popped one of the factor meals in the microwave for me to have for lunch. And then me and my trusty little highlighter here have been going through this recreation guide and trying to decide on the class Grace and I are gonna do this summer. It's so hard because there's so many amazing classes, but I don't, I don't wanna do more than two. I don't want to overwhelm her schedule and have classes every day, but there's so many great activities. I'm like, we can just cycle through these every season or every so often so that she can try a lot of different things and really figure out what she likes and what her passions are. Because as much as we love the dance class and the toddler class, who knows if there's something else here that she'll like even more. So maybe it's a good thing that they're going on break for the summer. Um, so I've narrowed it down to four that work with our schedule and that I think Grace and I would have fun with. So we have a Spanish dance play and language class, a toddler tumbling and gymnastics class, an art class, and a family music class. Well, the, the family music class doesn't like exactly work with our schedule, but I'm like, I could make it work because I've heard a lot of amazing things about that class. One of the moms that I met through the ballet class also has her daughter in that music class and she has just said that it's amazing and the teacher's great and her daughter loves it. So I 
I definitely want to do that class at some point, but maybe that'll be one that we can try later in the year and swim, which we started last week. And I was a little nervous about at the beginning of the class, Grace just did not seem into it. And I was like, oh no, <laughs> this is going to be hard, but I feel like we need to do swim for water safety, especially living in Southern California and going to the beach all the time. And we have a pool in our backyard. I was like, we, we you've got to learn how to swim. <laughs> but then like the last five minutes of the class, she really opened up and she had a lot of fun. And then that's, it seems to be that that's what she's remembered because she's been talking about that all week. That and also the fact that we went to a smoothie place after class. The first thing she said this morning when I was like, oh yeah, we're gonna go to swim later today. She was like, and smoothie place? So I think I think we will make the smoothie place part of the after swim class routine. We go, we swim, we learn, and then we get a smoothie and walk by the beach. Um, oh, also, I almost forgot after swim lessons today, we're going to the farmer's market that they do right by the beach. So that'll be fun. Steven's gonna meet us there. We're meeting some other friends there. I'm glad I just remembered that because I have to make sure that when I pack for swim, I also pack for the farmer's market. And my lunch is ready, so hold on. Here it is, except not really because I'm gonna put it all in the bowl and mix it together. Veggies and pine nuts, ta-da. That is so good. Oh, and then I picked up our new film roll from the photography studio. So Grace and I looked through all of them and decided which ones would go in the photo album, which ones we'd put in the box. So before I go upstairs to do some desk work, I think I'm gonna organize these all nice in my little photo album. And then we'll see if I can get some editing done before Grace wakes up. Check it out. We got all the new photos in from Easter, the Balboa Island trip, Newport, for the Disney creators trip. I just, I love film photos. This is my, this is my favorite hobby right now. Mm, actually probably second place hobby only to gardening, but I, the, the, the film photos are just so much fun. I have another role that I'm ready to take in to get developed. I actually tried to bring that role when I went to pick up this film yesterday and I did not realize until I got there, I did not grab my completed film role. I grabbed a blank film role and I handed it to them at the photography place. Like, yeah, here's the next role I'd love to get developed. And they were like, um, um, I think this is a brand new role. And I was like, oh gosh. So actually the, the photography place is near where the farmer's market is. So maybe I should bring that role with me, get that developed. I feel like that's a good idea. Add it to the endless string of things that we're now gonna do after swim class. Here is the actual completed film role ready to be developed. So I'm just gonna put that in my purse. Also, if you saw the last vlog, this is the crochet purse that I got at the street fair. And oh my gosh, this was, I mean, this, this was like love at first sight. I loved this bag from the second I saw it, but somehow now actually using it, I just love it even more. This, this is gonna be my summer bag. It just makes every outfit look so much cuter. It's like the perfect size for like all of my essentials and more. It's got the little clasp, super lightweight. I just love it. And in the past couple of days that I've been using this, I think I've gotten more compliments on this than like any purse in my entire life. And I agree, it's just the cutest freaking bag ever. Also, okay, the pants that I'm wearing today. I really like these. They're very comfy, elastic waist, elastic at the ankles, but I don't wear them that much because I feel like they give pajama vibes. So this morning when I was getting dressed, I couldn't decide what to wear. I was like, I just wanna be comfy. I'm gonna wear like bike shorts or sweats. I was like, you know what? No, let's try something equally as comfy, a little bit more outfit-y. And so I went with these, but I just can't shake the pajama feeling, <laughs> especially when I'm at home. Like without a purse and shoes, I feel like this is just pajamas. <laughs> but if I style it the right way, I think it just gives like a loose kind of boho pant. Hopefully, I don't know. I, I, it probably depends a lot on the occasion, like wearing these to Grace's dance class and then the farmer's market. Totally fine if they look a little pajama-y, but probably wouldn't wear these out to dinner. <laughs> Let me know what you think. Do they give pajama or is that just in my head. All right, now I am off to my desk and we're gonna walk and work and, well, I'm, I was gonna edit, but I just opened my email and there are quite a few things that I need to respond to, so I'm gonna do that first. Tomorrow is a full work day for me and I have like a three hour editing block set aside in that time, so I don't actually need to get any editing done during the snap, it's just anything that I do now off my plate for tomorrow, but the emails are more important, so we'll do that. We'll see how much time Grace gives me. She's already been now 
shopping for an hour. So could be any moment now, but I'm gonna get through these emails. Um, I've got a couple about sponsorships that are currently in negotiation. One about a sponsorship that I'm currently working on and um, an email about my VidCon programming, which I'm really excited about. Um, I'm going to VidCon this year. I love VidCon. I have always had a great experience there, which if you've been a viewer of my channel for a while, you know that hasn't been my experience with every con, but VidCon's always been great. Um, and I'm, I've got a lot going on at VidCon this year. I'm excited. I'm doing four panels. I'm moderating two of them. And then the other two I'm a just panelist on. And I've never moderated at VidCon before. I was really excited that they asked me. I really enjoy public speaking. I especially love like collaborative public speaking, like panels and round tables and all that kind of stuff. Um, so I, I'm really wanting to, to put some extra effort into the panels that I'm moderating, making sure that I just make it the best panel that it can be, make it really engaging and educational for the audience, make it really fulfilling for the panelists. I want VidCon to be happy with me and ask me back. So I'm just, I'm, I'm really wanting to do some of that extra work and extra preparation to make it as good as it can be. So they just responded to me about some of those details. Very exciting. Um, if you're going to VidCon, I'm gonna, I can't really lean cause I'm on the treadmill, but I'm gonna put my schedule over here of when my panels are and where if you wanna come, I would love that. And as long as the VidCon staff says it's okay, I will definitely hang out after the panel to meet you guys, take pictures, all the things. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. And Kenzie's coming to VidCon with me too. She's never been before. It's gonna, it's gonna be such a blast. Okay. I'm to respond to these emails. I'm gonna respond to some Slack messages from my team and then maybe edit, probably not. But <laughs> next time you see me, um, we will probably be heading to swim lessons. Here we go. Here we go. a caterpillar just like in your book. Do you and daddy want to put them in your room? Good job, two hands. We let Grace pick out one of the mini flower bouquets at the farmer's market for her room and she was so excited about it. She said she picked that one because it had two pink flowers and all the other ones only had one pink. So I just put them in a mason jar for her um, and her and Steven are gonna put them in her nursery and then he's gonna do bath and bed for her tonight. I am going to wash and I was gonna say prep the veggies, but it's not really prep so much as it is like wash and, and repackage and store. Cause none of the produce that I got at the farmer's market like actually needs to be chopped up or anything in advance. But we got some good stuff, some berries, zucchini, lemons, and cherry tomatoes. Everything's a, a little sandy, especially the strawberries. We went down to the beach after the farmer's market and we're just hanging out, watching the waves, playing around with Grace. She was just in like the most fun mood. And so we're snacking on some of the berries and they def definitely got a little sandy. So they will get a nice bath. But yeah, farmer's market was great. I just, I love a farmer's market, especially like going into summertime, that just feels like San Diego summer to me, going to the farmer's market, especially the one by the beach. Cause like we went to the farmer's market and then we just walked like, half a block down to the beach. I love it, I, I love it. We really went to the beach two separate times. So we did swim lessons, just back up a little bit fully here. Um, swim lessons were so much better today than last week. I think definitely it's still just, you know, a very new experience for her and a lot of it is overwhelming in some points, but I'm really making sure to go at her pace and like trying to find that balance of like encouraging her to, you know, try things that scare her a little bit and get out of her comfort zone, but also not wanting to make it like a scary experience for her and not wanting to force her to do anything that she's not comfortable with. So it's a balance, but I feel like today was much more on the side of like, okay, this, this is good. This is fun. I liked the beat. I can see now that even though it may not start out as like just a, a fun activity that we're looking forward to going to, it is important for safety and it is gonna get easy 
easier and more familiar for her every time we go. So today was definitely a success and she was very excited for the smoothie place afterwards. I think that definitely is gonna be have to be part of our swim lesson day routine because the smoothie place right there is so good and they'll split like one smoothie between the two cups. So I'm only paying for one. Oh, I also got these kale chips from there that were so good. They're like ranch flavored and they were delicious. I ate half of them. I'm saving the other half to eat tonight when I'm chilling, watching a show. Um, but yeah, the swim lesson was a success. Smoothie place was great. And then we also went on a little walk from there down to the beach. So really we went to the beach twice today because we went after swim and then also after the farmer's market. And it's just so nice. I, I can see Grace and I spending a lot of time at the beach this summer. Even like right now it's too cold to go in the ocean yet. So like that's not even a factor, but just like being there, the salty air and playing in the sand. Like I feel like Grace would be entertained just like picking up rocks and sticks at the beach for hours. It's one of my favorite places to go with her and it is making me very, very excited for summer. So yeah, that was our evening. I am going to wash the produce, tidy up the kitchen again, because somehow, even though I feel like I do this three times a day, it is always <laughs> cluttered. Um, I've got a little bit of work that I wanna get done up in my office later tonight. Oh, oh no, I'm not gonna do any work tonight. This is, this is the whole plan is going out the window. I forgot tonight's the Survivor finale. It's eight o'clock, it already started, I knew I knew in my brain, okay, we're gonna go do the farmer's market and everything. We'll probably get back around eight. We'll get Grace to bed and then we'll watch the survivor finale. But th th then I just forgot. Here I was planning a whole evening. I'm not, I'm not gonna do any work. I'm gonna wash this produce. Then Steven will probably be down with Grace. I'm gonna spend like 10 minutes doing skincare, get all comfy in my pajamas. And then it is survivor time. I'm so excited. I wanna see someone from Tika bring this home. Ideally Carolyn, but honestly, Jam Jam or Carson would still be like, easily top 10 winners for me. I'm so excited. I'm so excited, I forgot. How did I forget? It's my favorite show. All right, I am getting ready to do some skincare. I'm gonna light a candle, get nice and relaxed. Oh my gosh, also, I need to take a second and talk about my new favorite candle. Um, Grace and I were at the mall a couple days ago and uh, went into Bath and Body Works. They had all the new summer scents out. And this one, I think this is new this year. I've never seen it before. It's called Coppery Waves. Oh my gosh. It is so like crisp and fresh and summery and oceany. I just absolutely love it. Definitely my new favorite candle. I smelled it in store and I was like, this is amazing. And then I took it home and I lit it and I was like, how did this just get even better? Highly, highly recommend. I feel like it's the summer version of the sparkling icicle scent that I love from Bath and Body Works, but that one's only available around Christmas time. So this is like the other side of the same coin. It's just, oh, it's so good. Easily one of my favorite candle scents ever. Second only to uh, the Confident and Kind candle that we made for my merch. Like, yes, it's my merch, but I also made it to be my favorite scent ever. But we made a, a really limited run with them and I only had three for myself. And I've already gone through two of them. So now I'm like, okay, this has to be like a special occasion scandal. But this, this Capri Waves, Capri, Capri, I think it's Capri. Cop this scandal um, is a worthy replacement. Oh, it feels so good to just like sit down and slowly go through my skincare routine, have a little chat with you guys. It's, it's been a minute since I've done this. Lately, I've just been not as on top of my skincare game as usual. When I get busy, that tends to be one of you know, the first things to go. And in the past couple weeks, that has definitely been the case. And I feel like my skin is showing it. I had like a cluster of three zits in the corner of my mouth. And at first I was doing the good thing and not picking at it and just putting a pimple patch on it and it was going down. Oh, oops, I totally put my moisturizer on before my retinol cream. This is supposed to go first, but I only use this like once or twice a week. So I'll just not use it tonight. Um, but anyways, I then saw it become a whitehead and I was like, I should just, I should just pop it. It won't be that bad. And then I did and now I have a 
big scab in the corner of my mouth and I regret it immensely. So let me be your cautionary tale. No matter how badly you wanna pop that zit, you will regret it. <laughs> but it is going down. It was worse yesterday. Um, and I've been very good at not picking at it. When I finish my skincare, I'll put a little pimple patch on it. But now it's honestly less about the actual zits and more about the big old scab that's formed on top of it. So how much will the pimple patch do? I don't know, but it's on. <laughs> All right, I actually still do have to run upstairs and do just one thing real quick in my office before we start Survivor, like 10 minutes tops. And then Steven and I are gonna watch Survivor. As I already mentioned, I've got my kale chips and it couldn't be any more perfect because yesterday we got, we have a, a wine subscription membership thing where this winery that we love sends us some wine twice a year. And that shipment for spring and summer just came in. So we've got a bottle of our favorite white wine chilling in the fridge. We're gonna enjoy that. Watch the show. I am excited. And I'm bringing my candle out with me so we can enjoy the smells of Capri waves. Pop that bottle, Steven. What have we got here? Ooh, the 2021 Chardonnay. I say that like I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> am I supposed to peel the paper off first? Internet, I'm asking you, even though you can't answer me right now when it matters. <gasps> Woo! The first wine of our wine box very nice very nice very nice boom all right cheers ching ching okay survivor 44 spoilers in three two one oh my gosh jam jam wins i am so happy that was such a satisfying ending such an amazing winner such an amazing season and the finale episode was so good i oh 44 seasons and survivor is still raising the bar it was so good oh, but i'm pretty tired it's like 12 30 so i am off to bed let me know your survivor 44 thoughts in the comments um i'm thrilled with jam jam as the winner and there were so many good like heartfelt moments in this finale the one that like hit me the hardest was when jam jam was helping carson learn how to make fire even though he knew that they would probably be going up against each other and he like literally had his arms wrapped around Carson, like showing him how to properly use the flint. And you could tell that for both of them, it was just this like deeply emotional bonding experience. And Jam Jam said this line, it was like, is this the right game move? I don't know. And honestly, that's not important to me because I mean, essentially what he said was like, I was, I saw my friend struggling and I wanted to help him and I knew I could. And if he beats me because of this in the game, that's okay. And I was like, Ugh. especially with like how ruthless he was the whole season, that moment it just oh it just I, te I teared up it hit hard and there were so many good moments throughout the finale throughout the whole season and what a satisfying ending and an amazing winner so happy i'm going to bed hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and we'll see you next time bye mm -hmm.